What's up everybody? It is PSPP Winner. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating the proof of concept in getting a generic gamepad to work. Now, I will be using this gamepad as the example. Now, it looks like an official Xbox controller, but it's actually the GameStop brand. And according to the Linux kernel, this is classified as a generic gamepad, and a lot of Steam games do not work with generic gamepads. So I'll be demonstrating to you an example of this. I'm going to log into Steam, and I will use Skullgirls as the example. Okay, so I'm trying to do this. It's not skipping the logo. But if I go to help and options on controllers, only the keyboard is detected. This is not detected at all. So we're going to go ahead and fix that. So if you haven't already, you want to download the source code to SDL 2.0.3 and you want to compile it. I already have it compiled here, so I'll just go right to test, open up a terminal in this directory, and then what I'm going to do is run the test joystick binary to see if this gamepad is detected. Okay, so I have two joysticks attached. I have this one, and I have this one. So what I'm going to do is, in order to get this gamepad to work, I'm going to run controller map followed by the instance ID of the gamepad. So I'm going to be using the first one because this corresponds to this controller. So you should be getting a prompt here. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, map these buttons. Now look carefully. I'm going to tap the D-pad left and it just immediately skips D-pad down. So I don't know if that's a bug in the program or whatnot, but it doesn't really matter to me. I'm just going to go ahead and continue mapping this. Okay, so what you should have as a result is this string. Now this string is printed twice. I don't know why it does that, but it doesn't matter which one you copy. And then what you want to do is create a script. And you want to paste the uh, syntax that I have from my tutorial into this script. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this string over and I'm going to be replacing this with that string. Okay. And then the executable, I'm just going to change to Steam. So what this is, what this script is going to do is it's going to export this controller mapping into whatever we execute. So in this case we're going to execute Steam and any SDL2 based game should now be able to work with this controller. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I'm going to uh, minimize this for now. I'm going to open up another terminal. 
navigate to where I have my script. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the script as an executable. And then I'm going to run it. Now, I forgot to log out. Okay, so I'm going to run Skullgirls again. And this time the gamepad should not work. So now I can skip the logo. Now I can navigate the menus with the controller. Go to choose controllers. And there we have our controller. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this Disney controller to work at the same time as the controller I just put in. So I'm going to exit out of Steam again. Close this terminal. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the mapping for the second controller. So I'm going to take this and uh, start mapping the controls again. Now this doesn't work with the guide button for whatever reason. I'm not sure, although it works with the other gamepad. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it with the space key. I'm going to continue defining. The D-pad down was skipped again. And there we have our string again. So I'm going to open up my script again. Copy this string over to it. What you want to do is um, before the last quotation mark just add a line and then put in the next string. So you can put in however many game pads you want. I'm going to go ahead and save that. I can close this now. And then I'm going to run the script again. See, now both gamepads are detected, and I can assign it to wherever I want. So, both controllers should be working now. Um, I'm just going to uh, go ahead and do a local match here. I have to do this again, apparently. Teabagging, as I always love to do. Okay, player two is working, moving and attacking just fine. Okay, I'm going to try the same with the first gamepad. Works just fine. So, that's about it.